hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to solve this given triangle abc whose two sides as you can see and the angle between them is given and always remember that whenever we have been given two sides of a triangle and the angle between them we are going to use law of cosines to solve this triangle whenever we say to solve the triangle means that we're going to find the value we're going to calculate the value of missing angles and the missing sides and here are the law of cosines that we will be using during our calculations i want to make sure you get familiar with these law of cosines so let's get started with our this problem right now in this triangle a b c our vertex a is this one that means our angle alpha is going to be this one and the side opposite to this vertex a is going to be this a for this vertex b our angle beta is going to be this one over here and the side opposite to this vertex b is going to be lowercase b and likewise for this vertex c the angle is going to be gamma over here and the side opposite to this c is going to be this lowercase c and now as you can see over here that we need to figure out our angle gamma angle alpha and side b so thus our given values that we know are a equals to 15 side c equals to 20 and our angle beta is 124 degrees and these values we're going to calculate alpha gamma and side b and in this very first step we're going to calculate the missing side b and we're going to use this law of cosine b square equals to a square plus c square minus two times ac cosine of beta let's go ahead and start applying these values so we need to figure out b square equals to a side is 15 so it's going to become 15 square plus c is 20 square minus 2 times a is 15 and c is 20 cosine of 124 degrees and so this is going to be 15 square is 225 plus 20 square is 400 minus this is going to be 600 times the cosine of 124 degrees as you can see on this right side is approximately equal to negative 0.5 five nine let's go ahead and just combine these ones 225 plus 400 and when you multiply this thing negative and negative become positive 335.4 let's add it up together so that's gonna be 960.4 which is equal to b square now the next step is as you can see we're going to take the square root on both sides because we need to figure out b value so b is going to be approximately equal to 31 and in the second step we are going to calculate the missing angle alpha and we're going to be using this law of cosines as you can see over here let's go ahead and plug it in the value the a the side a is 15 so that's going to become 15 square equals to 31 square because b is 31 plus c is 20 square minus 
2 times B is 31 times C is 20 cosine of alpha. So let's go ahead and simplify this thing over here. So that's going to become 225 equal to 961 plus 400 minus that's going to become when you multiply this thing that's going to become 1240 cosine of alpha so let's go ahead and move on to next step over here so we're going to add these two quantities so 225 equals to that's going to give you 1360 1 minus 1240 cosine of alpha. I want you to move this quantity on the other side. So what happens is 225, when you move it on the other side, become negative 1361 equal to negative 1240 cosine of alpha. So when you simplify this thing, that's going to give you negative 1136 equals to negative 1240 cosine of alpha. I want you to divide both sides by negative 1240 and negative 1240. So this is gone. So that means cosine of alpha turns out to be 0 0.916. And since we want to figure out alpha, so we can write this as alpha equals to cosine inverse of 0 0.916. Thus, alpha turns out to be approximately equal to 23.65 degrees. And finally, in step 3, we are going to find the measure of the last missing angle, gamma. And as we know that the sum of the all three angles of a triangle is 100 and 80 degrees that means all these three angle adds up to 180 degrees so this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna put down alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to 180 degrees we know alpha equals to 23.65 degrees and we know beta equals to 124 degrees and we want to figure out gamma equals to 180. Let's go ahead and add these quantities up. So that is going to give us 147.65 plus gamma equals to 100. And 80 degrees I want you to move this on the other side so gamma equals to 180 minus 147.65 let's simplify this thing so gamma turns out to be 32.35 degrees so this is our gamma value. So thus we have solved our triangle ABC and our unknown values alpha is 23. This one we figured out alpha equals to 23.65 degrees. Our gamma equal to 32.35 degrees. And finally, our side B is 31 units. So these are the values we figured out. 
So that means we figured out all three angles and three sides. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.